And how'd you miss one like 150 and like smoke one at three? <laughs> the pressure was on. <laughs> Second stand, first stand did not produce. I did howl at the start of it, did not have anything howl back. So hopefully, these coyotes are in this draw right over here, this nasty thicket. See so if we can drag them out of there. sounds these coyotes we'll give them some mfk little v 11 weeks Killed right before it went right back in. I'm actually calling those coyotes off the neighbor. And it sure acted nervous down there. And I was looking, looking at it through the scope. I didn't see it, but for a few seconds, I looked over and seen it. Got the camera on it. I think I was playing a little bit 11 week. And I could tell it didn't it just kind of just want to look at her and see what was going on. Anyway, it started to turn go right back through that gate, but we got it. Worked out pretty good. I was kind of hoping, or kind of thinking those coyotes would come out of that thicket and I'd kill them up here on the side of this hill. Didn't quite work that way. Way well, didn't really have what I would call a hard charger, but we did have one come right through this fence row over here, right through this gate. Let's go over and take a look at it. Right here's our coyote. Looks like a yoy, young of the year coyote shot right behind the shoulder right there and if it was fixing to get right back through that gate I tell you what we're gonna have one happy farmer out here this landowner sees a ton of depredation from coyotes every year been having a lot of trouble this year and they've been seeing coyotes all over the place so i know he's gonna be happy to have one less man we set this stand up we had a ton of coyotes get to howling over here in this thicket this one right here finally stepped out come right through that gate Another coyote down right here in central Kentucky. Now you guys stay tuned. We're gonna go right into another hunt from Tennessee. Me and Zach Dillon traveled down there and hooked up with Mark the Butcher Larice. Check out this Tennessee hunt. It is a scorcher out here. It's our first full day down here. Uh, down here in Tennessee hunting with Mark Larice. We got Zach Dillon over on the rifle. Hopefully we're gonna find some coyotes this afternoon. It's only 98 degrees. Yeah, it, feels, it feels pretty cold out, I think, personally. Yeah, it's just 98. Surely, it's not 100. Surely we can get a coyote up on his feet. Anyway, we'll see if we can't make something happen. It's 
So we call it deer? We call it turkeys? Where's the coyote? Hey guys, we got a coyote at the end of this field out here, straight ahead. Yeah, here he comes. John, I want him. Here you want him? Huh? Barely singing. Ready? Come on. You got him. Like a poke. You guys see him drop? I flop. think he ran or something, but I mean, he did. He flopped around there for a minute. <laughs> How'd you miss one like 150 and like smoke one at three? I, the pressure was on. <laughs> so on this stand, we just called in turkeys, called in deer. And a nervous coyote. And a nervous coyote. Man, what a stand. Good calling. Is that him? That's him. That's him. Nice. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Summertime coyote. Man, I'm glad he didn't booger off into these woods and we had to go out and Right. He was nervous for some man of flies I found him, ain't he? Boy, they have. They sure have. Man. Or what? That's what right happened. Show. Male. Pick him up right there. A big old male. Good looking coyote. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty big for a summertime coyote. Yeah. Wonder what had him so nervous. I don't know. I thought he committed there for a minute. He, I don't know. He man. turned he, around. Even when he was out, so he was standing here and I was watching him in the scope. He would he would run up a little bit, then turn back around and act like he was gonna go back in. Then finally just committed to come up, came back, had to take a shot. He saw something or I don't know. Something. You made a good something. shot on him, man. Thank you.